From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and the mutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethon. Oh, yes. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two lights are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? Goran? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Goran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other.
of Varani. Must have been a mercenary, come to fight in the war. I could have told him how he'd end up. Not in bad shape though, all things considered. All right then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You... You were dead. It worked. By the tomb, it worked. You're alive! No, no, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. But the Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Don't know. Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deo, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far in them. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works! It restored you to life! There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. Let me get this door. We can be on our way. Right this way. Uh, you go first. <laughs> I bet you're still groggy, but just keep moving. Move. Move! This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death! Do you hear something?
get it? them before they see us. Daggers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems.
completely covered the tunnel. It needs <laughs> to to burn the path. No time to waste! I'll see you on the outside. If fate wills it. That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those Twatha make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get your shoes. We can hold off the Tawatha here. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tuatha. But this is the armory after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. Late armor. Nothing protects quite like late. Is of impervious metal. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's throat. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. Oh. <laughs> oh. 